Hello, everybody. It's about that time. Let's go see what's in the fridge today. Hey guys, thank you for talking about Greg's Beer Reviews today. We got us another beer from Henrik over in Sweden. Uh, after yesterday's uh, kind of fiasco uh, that we did uh, on their uh, Imperial IPA. Uh, I don't know how old these beers are, so I decided to go ahead and get this next one out. This is Opegards, and I'm probably butchering that name up. Winter Ale, and he says here it's an ale with... Uh, big, bready, nutty, and spicy <clears throat> body uh, with balanced bitterness and notes of dry fruit, pomegranate, melon, and citrus. So, and the uh, hops for this is Mandarin, Bavaria, Citra, Columbus, Amarillo, and Hull, melon, and yeast. I think I may have read that on another beer that he sent me incorrectly. So, uh, that is what this beer is about. And it's not a big winter warmer. Most of the winter warmers are fairly big beer. This is only 5.3%. Another reason why I wanted to go ahead and get it, uh, get it, go ahead and get it and get it done, because I don't know how old the beer is. And something of that low ABV, you're not wanting to sell it for a year or two, probably. Uh, so let's get on with this. Hendrick, thanks again, my friend. Uh, I do appreciate it, and hopefully I didn't... I didn't make you too mad yesterday on that beer, but I'm as honest as I can be, even though I appreciate you sending it to me and I never have had that beer before. You can't sell her uh, a double IPA. Uh, about a three-month shelf life is all you're going to get. After that, the hops are going to start fading substantially, and you're going to end up with a multi mess. But them giving that a two-year shelf life, that is definitely not going to fly. Uh, and it was already kind of malty already. I can just imagine what that's going to be next year at this time or even in June when they're giving it the end of the shelf life. It just doesn't. Uh, Homie, don't play that. Uh, three to three months and then occasionally you can get a four month and there are breweries over here that give their stuff six months, eight months in a year and it just, I just don't understand that. You lose your hot presence uh, when you sell those beers that long. So let's get on and see what this one brings, a winter warmer, a low ABV winter warmer too on top of that. I don't have a commercial description and we read to you what Henrik has sent on his notes. So let's get this thing popped open and get it into the glass. Mm, not very big hiss at all on this. And into the glass we go, fairly big bottle. It says here, general dessert, it means poultry and game. Glass for a pint back or nonic tumbler. I'm using my favorite snifter. We're not getting hardly any head at all. Let's go down the center on the last bit. It says here, not recommended for extended salaring. So, another reason. And I don't see anything written on it as far as date. We'll take a closer look when I come back. Didn't pour hardly any head at all. It didn't have a very big hiss when I popped a cap on it. It is a rich mahogany color. Kind of clear, looks like a filtered beer for sure. Let's get a nose to it. A nice sweet maltiness to this beer. Maybe some hints of some toffee and caramel. A little bit of breadiness in there. And like I said guys, I, usually the winter warmers over here are kind of big beers. Seven percent and, and bigger. Well, let's stop and see what we got. Cheers, everybody. Cheers, Hendrick.
very easy drinking, guys. Probably one of the lowest ABV winter warmers I think I've probably had. All of them over here, guys, are, that's why they call it winter warmer. You can, more booze, big boozy. I don't want to say boozy, but more alcohol. That's where you're getting warmer, and, you know. Very easy drinking, guys. I mean, uh, caramel, toffee, a nice sweetness to it. Very, very easy drinking. Maybe a slight hint of some darker fruit notes in there. But it's right out of the fridge. It's really hard to tell. Let me sip on this for just a little bit and see where we end up on this one. It's got a nice taste to it. I keep saying this over and over again. I'm used to the winter warmers over here being 7, 8, 9, 10 percenters. So. Well, I'll be right back. All right, guys, I'm back. Got just a little left here. Unfortunately, this is uh, unimpressive, too. On the bottom of the bottle, it's got uh, best before June of 2017. And, guys, you know how I feel about these best before dates. Don't give me the horse shit of best before, used by, best by, or whatever by. Tell me when it was put in the freaking bottle. And then I'll make the decision when I want to have it by. I don't need you to tell me when you think I should have it by. That way I have no idea how old the beer is. So, uh, just like I tell the American brewers, I'm telling the guys over there in Sweden, your best, your best by date suck. Uh, tell me when it was put in the bottle. That's what I want to know. Especially on a 5.3% ABV beer. Guys, this is a very low ABV winter warmer. Probably the lowest one I've ever had. Uh... I like my winter warmers with a lot of taste and a little bit more alcohol than what I'm getting on this. And when they brew these lighter versions of it, the taste is very subdued. Uh, on this beer, caramel, toffee, slight hint of a little bit of dark fruit in there, not much. And not a lot, not a lot of anything else to go with it. Uh, it's too light of an ABV beer for the style. I mean, you could drink this for breakfast at 5.3%. Final choke. Alcohol is super well hidden. Of course, it doesn't have a whole lot of alcohol to start with, but very transitional. If you've never had a winter warmer, and you wanted to try one and not try something that didn't blow your head off or, or make you inebriated with the bigger beers, that uh, are winter warmers over here, most of them, uh, this may be a good one to get into or give it a try if you can get your hands on it. I don't even know if it's distributed over here or not because he sent them to me from, uh, from Sweden. So if it's exported, uh, maybe they brew a different batch with, with more ABV. I'm not sure, guys. I've not seen it on the shelf over here. Of course, I have not looked for it. But I do appreciate Henry, Henrik spending his hard-earned money on this and paying the astronomical outrageous shipping rates to send these beers over to me. I, did, I do like to try stuff that I uh, haven't had before and uh, can't get here sometimes. So, uh, But like yesterday's beer, this is a little unimpressive for a winter warmer. Uh, that's where I'm going to leave it, guys. Uh, to me... Uh, it does have a date on it, and it is a style of beer that is more than likely not going to go bad in the first six months, eight months, because uh, there's no super hoppiness that's going to fade, or coffee, or anything that, like that that's going to fade, but uh, a little bit too low of the ABV for me. And just like the, I tell the breweries over here, they pick these best by, used by, enjoyed by, whatever by dates on them, they're horrible. I want to know when it's been in the bottle and let me make the decision when I want to have it by. So, not knowing what they give in their shelf life on these beers, we have no idea. So, to me guys, uh, as much as I hate to say it, uh, I'm going to give this a B-. minus. Uh, numeric rating on this one, guys, is five. Uh, 
We'll give it a, a 5, uh, 80. That's where I'm going to put it in the scale. It's an 80. Not down into the 70s, but uh, as much as I hate to say it, and, and I don't want to hurt Hendrix film on but it's very unimpressive. It's for a winter warmer, it's not that impressive. Uh, over to Beer Advocate. Beer Advocate says 83. I'm giving it an 80. We're pretty close there. Over to Rate Beer. Rate Beer says 79. Uh, I'm giving it an 80. We're real close there. And over to Untapped. Untapped has it at 3.51, which is in their B range also. B Beer, guys. It is a B Beer. Nothing impressive or nothing to write home by. About or blow my hair back or my socks off. It was okay, but uh, I'm not sure I would buy this if I seen it sitting on the shelf here, unfortunately. And that's why I hated for Henrik to, to spend his hard on money and ship this stuff from Sweden uh, to get a low score like that. I'm sorry, Henrik. Uh, i got to be as honest as I can. Uh, if it blows my hair back, I'm going to tell you that. If it doesn't, I'm going to tell you that too. So, Anyway, guys, if you've had this one, this is the uh, Open Guards uh, Bright Brightery or brewery in, in their language, uh, winter ale, very low ABV, 5.3. Didn't even know they made a winter warmer or a winter ale that low, as far as the ABV goes. Well, that's where I'm going to leave it. If you've had it, guys, let me know what you think. Uh, that's two in a row, uh, and I've got, I think I've got one more in here from him in there and I may do it in the next day or two because uh, I don't know what the dating is on this stuff and I don't, I don't know how old it is so I want to go ahead and get it reviewed as quick as possible. So if you've had this one let me know what you think guys. Come on back tomorrow and let's take something out of the fridge.